Hey everyone and welcome to this first tutorial on how to make a split screen music video on Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. We'll learn how to make a simple but professional looking split screen music video with two clips. We'll look into some ways of making your videos more entertaining by adding different shots and dynamic effects. Let's jump right in. First, we're gonna import our video files into Premiere. In the media browser, right click and select new bin. We'll name it raw footage and put all our unedited videos there. Add your audio master file to the timeline. It will be our reference for synchronization. Now double click on the first video you want to add. It will now open in the source window where you can select which part of the video you want to put in the timeline. When you find the start of the part you want to include, press I on your keyboard. Then find the end of your take and press O. You can now click on the video and drag it to the timeline. Only your selection will be added but you can expand it if necessary by hovering around the edge of the clip and dragging the clip further. Repeat the same process with your other video and place it on top of the first one. As both of our videos are taking the whole screen, we'll have to crop them so they can both fit. Go in the effect panel and type crop in the search field. Grab the effects to both clips. Select one of them and go in the effect control panel of the clip. Find the crop effect and set left value to 25% and right value to 25% as well. Now the clip is only taking half of the width of the video. You'll have to move it so it occupies half of the screen by changing the X value of position. Do the same thing with your other clip. If the subject in your video is not centered, you'll have to tweak the right and left crop values. Just make sure that they add up to about 50%. Now that our clips are positioned, we need to sync them. Usually I have a master audio track for my music video, as the audio recordings from phones or cameras is usually pretty bad. I want to compare the audio from my clips to the master. So I'll mute one of the clips by going in the audio section and pressing M and adjust the other one with the audio. You could record yourself clapping before your take to sync it, but I usually think it's faster to just adjust them by ear. You'll have to figure out if your clip is too early or late compared to your master and estimate where it should go. Then, zoom in and adjust it until you can't hear a flam in the audio. Right click on the audio from the clip, press unlink and then delete it. Repeat the same process with the other track. You now have a split screen video in sync, but why stop there? Let's add a frame to make it look more professional. We'll start by adding one around the whole video. Press and hold on the pen tool and select the rectangle tool. We'll draw a rectangle around the video to create the main frame. Let's look at the effects section of the rectangle. Under appearance, uncheck fill. Set the stroke value to 20. You can change that value to your taste, but I think that 20 works pretty well. Hover on the video and press the tilde key to zoom in. Press V to go back to the regular cursor and grab the sides of the rectangle to adjust it. Now switch to the pen tool by holding left click on the rectangle tool. Click on the bottom of the screen where the two videos meet, then on the top part of the screen. If the line's not straight, grab one part and move it left or right. You could leave it like that and have a really nice split screen music video. But we could also make it more dynamic so your audience stays interested. One way to do it without shooting more clips would be to create different shots. We'll alternate between your split screen shot, your individual shots of your videos, and then introduce some zoom to give the illusion that you have more footage. First, start your video from the beginning and press the marker button every 4 or 8 measures. You could also monitor your attention and press marker when you think that you're starting to get bored. This is a good indicator that your attention has to be renewed with new content. Once you've done that, select the razor tool and cut everywhere you put a marker. This will allow us to change the shots without changing the rest. Let's start simple and put only one of the two videos in the shot change. Delete the clip that you won't be using, remove the crop effect from the remaining video and place it in the center. Now select the frame clip and remove the line in the middle. For the next one, we could keep the same configuration but zoom in one of the clips. Let's zoom on the hands of the base clip. Select it and increase the scale value until you're satisfied and place the video with the position values. For the last one, we'll do a moving zoom effect. Select the clip that you're gonna use for that shot and place the cursor at the first frame. Then, click on the stopwatch next to the scale value. Move the cursor at the last frame of the clip 
and set the scale value to the maximum amount of zoom you want. You might want to move the clip too if the last frame is not centered on your subject. Go back to the first frame and press the stopwatch next to position. Go to the last frame and adjust the position value so the subject is centered. In the next video, we'll learn more advanced techniques like using more clips and placing them in a more creative way. We'll also look at different effects to make your video even more dynamic. The footage I used for this video was from my new video clip called Farewell in the Lion. You can check it out as well as my other videos to get some ideas for your own stuff. Lastly, let me know in the comment sections if you have any questions about what we talked about. I'll make sure to answer to everyone or to address it in a future video. See you around!